What's up, tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news. Now, on to James Watterson, who will tell you about the men's draw starting at Wimbledon. Thanks a lot, Lauren. Well, the biggest news of the day is that John Isner is playing Nicholas Mahut in a rematch of last year's Wimbledon first round in a match that, for those that may not remember, Isner won 70-68 to in the fifth set. Now, what are the chances these two would be matched up again? In a way, it's actually kind of appropriate because the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club placed a plaque commemorating the match on Court 18 where they played their epic match earlier this year. Now, since the match, the, the two players have actually become good friends, and Isner told the press that he even joked around with Mahut about the possibility of playing again, and he received a less than enthusiastic response. He said, quote, I couldn't believe it. I joked with him last week and said, watch us play each other, and he said, no, there's no way. That's not even funny. But as it turns out, that's the case. He wasn't the only one that was surprised. Andy Murray tweeted out, quote, Isner versus Mahut drawing each other in the first round after last year is the most amazing thing I've seen in tennis. Center court anybody? Now for his part, Isner, perhaps tongue in cheek, tweeted, quote, anyone seen the Wimby draw? Who do I play? Now they were supposed to practice together on Saturday, but with their upcoming match, those plans have been scrapped. Now the good news is that the impending rematch won't get in the way of their friendship. Isner said, quote, we might do dinner, we're really good friends now, but obviously we both want to win. We're going to enjoy it and laugh at it at the same time. Now moving on, top-seeded Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer are on opposite sides of the draw, meaning that if the top four men make it to the semifinals, as many analysts and commentators are predicting, then Nadal will play Andy Murray and Federer will play Novak Djokovic. Nadal faces a potentially harrowing test in Milos Raonic in the third round, and then Juan Martin Del Potro in the fourth. Murray has a tough road as well. He could face Marin Cilic or Ivan Lubicic in the third round, and then either Stanislas Wawrinka or Richard Gasquet in the fourth. Now in the bottom half, Federer's quarter appears to be a little bit easier. He plays 60th ranked Mikhail Kukushkin in the first round, and could face a rusty David Nalbandian in the second, and John Isner, Nicholas Almagro, or Mikhail Yuzny in the fourth round. Now finally, Novak Djokovic may face a big serving Kevin Anderson in the second round, Mar Marcos Bagdadas in the third, and a either fellow serve Victor Troisky or Ma Michael Lordra in the fourth. Now the uh, outcome of the tournament could have a huge impact on the rest of the tennis season because Nadal could lose his number one ranking and, if things play out in a certain way, he could even drop down to number three after Wimbledon. Now Nadal and Djokovic are separated by only 65 points, with Nadal defending 280 more points than the Serb from last year's Wimbledon. If Nadal does not defend his Wimbledon title, Djokovic will become the new number one. Alternatively, if Djokovic reaches the final, even if Nadal wins, he will take that top spot. Meanwhile, if Federer wins and Nadal is knocked out before the finals, the Spaniard will fall to number three. It will be very interesting to see how it plays out and if by the end of the tournament we will have a new number one. And that's Skinny on the men's side. Back to you, Lauren. Thank you, James. And now to the ladies' draw. Wimbledon's defending champion and four-time winner Serena Williams comes back to tennis for the Grand Slam event to face French player Arvain Rezai, who recently has been in the news for issues with her father. The two have never met on grass before, and the only time they have was on the hard courts in Sydney, where Williams won in three sets. Recently, Williams struggled in Eastbourne when she lost in the second round to Veers von Areva, her finals opponent last year. Serena is seeded seventh and could face the current number one on a mission to win her first Grand Slam in the semis. Speaking of, Caroline Wozniacki will open her grass court season against the world number 107, Arangta Para Sontongha, and comes into Wimbledon with 17 titles, which could be her downfall. She has the potential to meet her clay court season's nemesis, Julie Gerges, in the fourth round, then have to face Sam Stosser in the quarters. Roland Garros champion and third seed Lee Na faces Aya Kudretseva. She will have pretty smooth sailing into the quarterfinals where she could face Wimbledon finalist and France's sweetheart Marianne Bartoli in the quarters, who will play a qualifier in the first round. Favorite to take the title for the second time since her 2004 victory is fifth seeded Maria Sharapova. She opens against fellow Russian world number 50 Anna Chekvetadze and may face Wozniacki in the quarters or Lee in the semis. On the other half of the draw, second-seeded Zvonareva faces young American Allison Risk, who has never made it past the first round. Zvonareva could potentially meet with Serena's sister in the fourth round. Venus Williams is a five-time Wimbledon champion and is seeded number 23. Williams meets Akgul Aman Muradova of Uzbekistan in the first round. 
2010 French Open champion Francesca Schiavone could have a handful to deal with when she takes on Yelena Dokic, uh, no stranger to causing an upset, and is in the last rounds at Eastbourne. Schiavone may meet with top player Victoria Azarenka in the quarters. For seeded Victoria Azarenka, the highest seed in the third quarter, will have to get past Magdalena Rybarakova. Witty German Anna Petkovic, talented youngster Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova, and shocking 2010 quarterfinalist Kaya Kanepi are the other seeds to watch out for. The bottom half of the women's draw are scheduled to play the first round matches on Monday, with the top half due to commence on Tuesday. It is not very often that the male tennis players make themselves into empowered sex icons like the famous leading ladies Anna Kornikova, Maria Sharapova, Anna Ivanovich, and more who's done it in the past. However, France's Joe Wilfred Songa decided to bear all for Cosmopolitan UK magazine's June issue, literally, just in time for Wimbledon. The world number 19 recently took down the world number one Rafael Nadal on grass and enters the All England Club as the 12th seed. Falling in the footsteps of Tommy Robredo and Fernando Verdasco, he appeared nude in the article for a good cause, the Every Man Male Cancer Campaign. This UK campaign raises funds for research and supports educating the public on prostate and testicular cancer that affects more than 39,000 men every year. The magazine has a variety of different celebrities doing the tasteful centerfolds every month to send aid and support the cause. Sangha told Cosmo, my favorite part of my body is my buttocks but I don't like my feet. On a woman, I love beautiful eyes. As for no bedroom action the night before a match, that depends on who's in my bed. I could never choose between sex and tennis. I'd have to say both, as long as you enjoy it. Sex or tennis, mm, big debate. Well, that wraps us up for today, tennis fans. Be sure to subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel. Click on that button right up there. And also, I wanted to remind you guys, we have an awesome contest going on. I'm gonna leave it in an annotation right above here to click on it. But all you have to do is basically imitate your favorite player as a video response, and you could win a two-night stay in New York, $300 from Tennis Express, or $150 from Tennis Express. You got nothing to lose doing it, and you'll have fun doing it as well. And also, Jeff Salzenstein has a new tennis instructional video where he goes over the slice backhand and that's a great shot for Wimbledon and you'll see it all over the place so make sure you watch it and learn it. I'm Lauren Lynch and this is Tennis Now. Thanks for watching. Happy Wimbledon.